So the latest movie that I watched was Street Trash, which was kind of trashy. This is a film about a liquor that when you drink it, it makes you melt. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's the plot of the film. You see, when you're watching a film, you would assume that there's some kind of plot and a structure to the story. But this doesn't have one. <laughs> it's basically pointless. And it's not like in Big Lebowski where the pointless story is there to establish the fact that our main character's life is kind of pointless. This film just doesn't have a plot <laughs> because reasons. I mean, yes, this film was entertaining for the most part. It had great effects. The cinematography of the film was pretty good, which was odd because you would assume that this kind of film wouldn't have like a good cinematography. You would assume that yeah, it's kind of it's going to be okay or bad. The acting for the most part, well, um it was on the level that you would assume from a film from this type of film. It has James Lawrence in his who was absolutely hilarious in this film. Kiss your prick, it's dripping down the you stairs! Fuck. And acts um, the main character in the film, Frankenhooker, which is one of my favorite um, B-schlock horror films. <laughs> it's it's hilarious. It's the best, best Fr Frank and Lauder film. It, uh, this film also had R.L. Ryan, who also played the major in, in Toxic Avenger, and was the, I think he was the head of the power plant in Class of Nukem High. So yeah, he was one of these like trauma actors. And yeah, for the most part, it was entertaining. But in the middle of the film, it kind of like start to dra starts to drag and turns from fun, schlocky, B-movie fun into um, Joe Moreau's um, weird sexual fantasies. Where a bunch of like hobos um, rape uh, a woman, and it's uh, it was just disgusting. Like, I know it's an exploitation film, and it's kind of like you would assume that something like this would happen, but in this case, it just goes on and on with this type of things, and it's not fun. It's not entertaining. It's just like disgusting, and like, and those f scenes just don't have any like point to exist, they are like just there to get the film over 90 minutes. But then at one point it just cuts back to the fun stuff and we get to see a scene where these, where somebody gets their dick ripped off and they start to throw it around like it's a fucking football. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a scene that is out there and gets all the what the fuckery points. It was something like, it, it kind of like came out of nowhere and it led to nothing, so it was like, wait, what? Like, this film se feels like one of those films that, like, throws everything at a wall and tries to see what sticks. And basically all the gooey, gory stuff sticks right here. And, um, kind of the mafia subplot sticks from one corner. And, like, then all the rest is kind of like... I would say that this is one of those films that you like kind of like have to watch with a bunch of friends because like it's like okay there are there are the the scenes but if you get over that over them or skip them the rest of the f film is absolutely entertaining it's pointless i know it doesn't have any structure or anything but it's absolutely hilarious and what makes it even better is the great gore effects. Yo guys, thank you so much for watching. What are your thoughts on the Street Trash? Follow me on social media to get updated on videos and see me do random shit. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Yeah. Bye. Hi.